People who watch my videos are looking for better health, better peace in their heart, and great relationships, epic relationships. I, if you're not interested in any of that, you probably are going to waste your time because that's what I'm talking about today. Today, actually, we're going to talk about sprouts and the nutritional benefits of sprouts. Over the years, I have tried all kinds of supplements. I bought supplements from pills, I bought supplements from powders, I bought supplements that are liquid form, I bought all kinds of supplements, and I have benefited from those supplements. There's a lot of people who say vitamins are no good, and you know what, for the most part, I would tend to agree that you only get a small amount of the vitamins, but that's a tangent. Let me forget, just forget that. Um, there, you do get some benefits from vitamins, so keep eating your vitamins. But out of all of the things that I tried to be really healthy with, I found that the best way to get your body super healthy is to give your body things that are as close to the source of power as possible. Do you know where all energy in this world comes from? Do you know where all the, the nutrient, all, all of the, the living, your body's a living thing. Do you know where life comes from? Well, in this world that we live in, most, I, I don't want to say all, but I'm going to say that most energy comes from the sun. And this is how it works. The sun shines down on the plants, on the earth, and the plants grow, and that growth absorbs the energy and converts that energy into something that animals can eat and humans can eat. And we eat those plants and we get our energy. Now, I can also kill an animal and eat that animal, like a fish, let's just say, um, the, the plants that are under the ocean, they're, they're growing as well, and they, the fish eat those little planktons and all that good stuff, and, and they get bigger, some fish eat other fish, and, and whatever. It, the point is, is that, let's say I eat some fish, and that is energy for my body. It's going to have the fats, it's going to have the minerals, it's going to have the nutrients, and my body's going to be at benefit from that. But it didn't come, it's been removed from the source by one step. The plants, they ate the plants, and then the, the plants were the original source of that energy, and then the fish was a secondary source. Or any animal, actually, if I eat a, some beef, beef is a cow, the cow ate the plants, and so I'm getting food that's once removed away from the source, which is the sun. Um, anything, the reason why I go down this tangent is because anything that is processed is removed once again from the source. So if I cook the plants, that's one step removed from the source. The source was, the, okay, the sun, the plant, and I've cooked it, that removes it. Anytime I process the food through um, like adding sugar to it, sugar is a preservative that helps preserve the food. That's why a lot of the foods we eat are full of sugar that helps preserve it. You know, think of jam, how long it can sit out on the counter without going bad. And the more sugar that's in it, the longer it can stay. The more natural it is with natural sugars, then it will go bad sooner than if it's packed full of refined sugar, which is a very processed sugar, and it's going to be a preservative. But that is removed from the source of energy. We might think that sugar has a lot of energy in it, and that's true, but it's not the kind of energy that your body really wants. Sugar is one of the... All right, I have a thing about sugar. Just forgive me on that. Okay. Um, there, the more processed that our food becomes, the farther it is from the source and the less healthy it is for our body. Think of a protein bar. A lot of people go to the protein bar because they need a good source of energy. They need a good source of nutrition. They need something good. So they go to a protein bar. In my opinion, a protein bar 
isn't very close to the source of energy. It's been processed, it's been packaged, it's been preserved, and your body is gonna get some of what it needs, but not all of what it needs. There are better sources of energy for your body. One of the best sources of energy is, is a sprout. So today I wanna to talk about sprouts, and I know I took a long way, long time to get to the sprouts, but I wanted you to know that they are super powerful, super packed. I have here an egg. Now, we know that eggs are complete. This has all of the nutrients that this, there's a, uh, if this were, this egg were to be fertilized and a chick were to uh, be developing inside of this egg, then it has all of the nutrients in it that a chick needs for life, for the first days of its life. It's, it's a complete package. And the same thing with the seed. A seed is a complete package. It has all of the nutrients that that seed needs to sustain its life until it can start getting nutrients from the soil and start getting nutrients from the sun through photosynthesis. And so these sprouts have their complete package. And the problem is, right, there is always a problem, not always, but one of the things is that seed, when it's all bound up as a seed, it is not designed to release its nutrients. So you can eat just seeds, or you can grind up the grain and eat it that way, but it hasn't had an opportunity to tell the DNA of the, the, the seed to release those nutrients. Sprouting, uh, it tells the plant to release the nutrients, and then your body can absorb it better. It's healthier than just eating grains. It's healthier than eating even oatmeal. It's healthier than um, even a, a power bar that's made out of grains or, or oats or whatever's in your power bar, rice even. Um, because they have been soaking and because sprouts have been soaking and those, that soaking process, it tells the seed to release those nutrients. So when you make sprouts, and I have other videos that tell you how to make sprouts, where to get seeds, sprout, the best sprouting seeds, and, but right now I just wanted you to know that these sprouts are ready to release their nutrients. The phytic acid, which that's a whole nother topic, has been minimized so that my body can absorb it and it will love it and not have uh, irritations in the gut. Um, this is this is way optimal energy. It's optimal nutrition, and I want to encourage everyone to try sprouts. And I, I think people look at them and they're going, oh, but they got these little legs on them and all that stuff. Well, you know what? Shrimp have legs too, and people love shrimp. Lobster, people love lobster. They have legs. Maybe you don't love lobster, but there's a lot of people who do, and, and cows have legs, but we cut those off when we before we eat them. And anyway, I just don't want to go on and on and on, uh, but these little sprouts are healthy for you, and I want you to try sprouts. And if you already are eating sprouts, eat more of them. People ask, how do you eat sprouts? Do you eat them on sandwiches? Yes, eat them on sandwiches. How do you eat sprouts? Do you eat them... Um, on salads, absolutely eat them on salads. Do you eat them plain? Yes, that's my favorite way to eat them. Just a bowl of sprouts. And this is a small bowl for me. Sometimes I'll eat a whole pound. You can eat up to two and a half pounds of sprouts per day without getting over sprouted. And um, I've got documentation for all of these things. So look down below, click on the links down below this video and get the documentation. My, I want, my goal in life is to help people have better relationships. In my opinion, the purpose of life is to learn to have great relationships with our higher power, with ourselves, and with people around us. And most of the people in this world today, they may be full in their gut, but their bodies are still hungering for nutrition. 
That's why the fat cells keep adding on. It's a storage system to try to store what's, what's there. But when your body's getting what it needs, it doesn't need to store anything. Well, it doesn't store as much. And yeah, your body's going to go healthy when you think healthy, when you become healthy. And, and about this relationships thing, when our bodies are satisfied, we're less hangry. We're less hungry and we're less angry. When our spirit is satisfied, we're less angry. So in order to have really great relationships in life, it helps to have a well-balanced body. It helps to have a well-balanced spirit to remove the negative from our thinking, remove the negative from our hearts, and our relationships just skyrocket into the epic realm. Nutrition is a, a starting place. It's a starting place that I'm one encouraging everybody to do. I have other videos that talk about exercise. I have other videos that talk about overcoming addictions. I have other videos that talk about um, water and how to drink extra really great water, the best water on the planet. Um, please like my channel, share my information with everybody that you know, even if they're the, your enemy because you want less enemies and who knows, they might become a friend. And, um, and thank you for listening. So, bon appetit, eat your sprouts every day. Well, maybe not every day, but multiple times a week. Thank you. <laughs>